No, no, we're not. I can honestly say that. Um, you know, we've carefully built this strategy out over, uh, over a number of years. Uh, it's working for us. We're getting the returns, even though the conditions are challenging, as you've seen by our figures, and looking over even one year, over five years. We're very comfortable with that. Um, yes, it may work for other groups, and it may be, it may be some sensible for us, for, for them, not for us. So we're going to stay the course, and it's over the medium to long term. We now have 19,500 people in our group in South Africa who understand the strategy. And that's a terribly important point about implementation because it's one thing to come up with strategies, another thing to actually deliver on the strategy. So those people understand what we're about. They understand the role they have to play in executing on that. They understand the importance of our leadership position in South Africa to that. We're going to stay the course. Um, we're happy with it. And, of course, there are positives from, from the very fact that others may turn the dial down on Africa in particular and South Africa. It may just make the opportunity a little bit easier for a Sunlam in the execution because the competitive pressure is off a little bit. So we're going to stay the course. Not a positive thing, but it's our job to anticipate these things. So every quarter we do the calculations and we can analyze, you know, on a, on a best case, worst case scenario, what it could be. So we find from a solvency, from an operating point of view, it will be negative for Sunlam. It'll affect uh, our bond positions, probably our equity positions, which will have an impact on the new business uh, as well, the margins that we get. But we find in terms of that. The bigger issue for me is what it means for South Africa. And that's not a positive thing. And that's why we're all busy, obviously, supporting um, government and business working together to try and address what we can do, even at this late stage, to, to address the risk. But a, the point I would make is, if it's not positive for South Africa, it'll be negative for South Africa. It Therefore, because we are 70% invested in South Africa, it won't be positive for our business as well. So quite apart from the direct impact, which we can handle and we've planned for that, um, it won't be positive for our, for our business because it's not positive for South Africa. So I think we must all do what we can as business, get involved. I mean, you all know what, um, what the initiatives are, and we're now at that stage. I wish we'd done this a year ago. Such is life. We're now doing it.